You may have noticed that Ashes of Creation dropped a reveal to its February cosmetics the other day, giving us an inside look at the next round of cosmetics that seem to be very inspired by the Pyre Elves, giving us the usual outfit, pet, mount, and this time around an instrument, which is an accessory skin. And I know what you're thinking, Richie, you can't just assume a flute cosmetic skin is a tease for an upcoming class. Well, I assure you, I in fact can do this because of this tweet right here with the Ashes of Creation Twitter giving the classic look of eyes staring into the future of leaks for us. There are four primary archetypes left for us to see. Four Alpha 2, at least in their beginning state, being the Mage, the Summoner, the Rogue, and the Bard. And we know the Bard and Summoner are being shown to us this year. And although I was expecting this to be something that is shown much later in the year, having the Bard showcase in February would fit very well with Valentine times today with a month filled with love and music from Intrepid. And this cosmetic pack screams music. From the flute to the mount with the harp on his horns, I think Intrepid is gearing up for a big reveal of a class that we have not yet seen at all, in any stage of the testing. The Bard in Ashes of Creation is a support class, but not in the way you'd expect from a healer. They are meant to make the party better as a whole, but don't think this means that they can't take a punch because they are really going to be the jack of all trades as they will have various offensive and defensive combat abilities on top of their buffs, and some of these buffs include augments to tanking, evasion, DPS, various ability buffs, and healing. While these buffs will vary in songs, story, and dances performed by the Bard, adding a fun and different dynamic dynamic when taking on a boss. There will also be buffs based around the bard's performance in combat where a bard could land a skill shot in combat, generating a buff to surrounding party members that relate to the ability the bard just used. This will really create a fun and unique class that may perform much differently compared to other DPS and support classes that we have seen in the past. But this isn't the only thing that I imagine we will be seeing showcased in the February livestream. As towards the end of January in the monthly stream, Intrepid said that they were a couple weeks away from finishing the move to Unreal Engine 5.1. So if we see any gameplay whatsoever, I imagine this is when Intrepid will take that opportunity to show off some of those changes to the lighting and the foliage that comes with this engine update. How this bard is showcased could be anyone's guess. We have the Carfin Dungeon and the Cyclops boss coming in the next few months, so it is possible that we could see the bard perform in one of these situations, which makes sense as a support class. Again, you want to perform in some group gameplay, but I don't really expect either of those in February. If we saw either one, I imagine it'd be the Cyclops, but I have a feeling that is going to be shown in March, not in February, with Carfin being the stream that really tops off the class reveals, showcasing a bit of the full variety working together. So we really could just be seeing a small group take on a small boss in the world like we got for the tank in the cleric showcase. That is, if the bard is actually revealed. But no matter how Intrepid chooses to showcase the bard, I hope they learn from the mistakes of November and January stream, not recording at the last second and taking their time to truly showcase all of the abilities that the class has to offer. Moving forward past this stream, if we do in fact get the bard, then it's the summoner, mage, and rogue left to be shown for the primary archetypes. And the Rogue and Mage have had a presence in the game since the beginning of development and have had some of their established abilities already throughout the Alpha 0 and Alpha 1 testing. Depending on the wave, the Rogue wasn't in Alpha 1, but it was in Alpha 0, but there is already an established presence for that class. They know how they want it to perform. They have some abilities already made for it, so it should be a pretty straightforward implementation other than tying in the new combat system and some of the updated mechanics. But then all eyes will be on the Summoner, which I think is going to be the most hyped showcase we have seen in regards to classes. According to the poll I put out, it's the one the majority of you are waiting to see, and it's something that we haven't seen at all in development. There was no Alpha Zero Summoner, there was no Alpha One Summoner. We haven't seen any type of gameplay regarding this archetype. Do you think we're going to see the Bard in the February livestream? Drop a comment down below, and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, Feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.